click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida let us do now one question of comparative income statement comparative income statement shows comparison of two years income statement that is each and every item of two years income statement is compared to understand what changes have taken place during these two years let us read the question following other profit and loss account of messrs prajakta enterprise for the year ended 31st march 2012 and 2013 profit and loss account for the year ending 31st march 2012 and 2013 let us go to the items and mark them for vertical income statement cost of sales this will be deducted from sales to arrive at gross profit salaries administration expenses office rent administration expenses advertisement selling expenses traveling expenses selling expenses income tax less from net profit before tax sales income interest non operating income prepare comparative income statement from above in vertical form in the books of messrs prajakta enterprises comparative income statement particulars for absolute amount two amount columns 2012 2013 next two are for indicating increase and decrease in absolute amount and increase and decrease in percentage first we are required to start with sales 3 lakhs and 4 lakhs less cost of sales 2 lakhs 3 lakhs this will be deducted from sales we can calculate gross profit less operating expenses administration and office expenses salaries office rent admin and office expenses total 30000 and 35000 next is selling and distribution expenses advertisement expenses 30000 12000 traveling expenses 15000 30000 total operating expenses 75000 and 77000 these will be deducted from gross profit operating net profit we have 25000 and 23000 to this will be adding non operating income non operating income is interest 10000 and 20000 we have to operating profit we have added interest received we got net profit before tax 35000 and 43000 from this we are required to deduct provision for tax income tax provision amount is 5000 provision for income tax 5000 and 10000 are deducted so we got net profit after tax 30000 and 33000 we have completed first two columns of amount and now we have vertical income statement ready for comparative income statement we have to compare values of first column and second column sales 2012 it is 3 lakhs in 2013 it has become 4 lakhs so we have to see the difference whether there is rise or there is fall so here there is increase by 1 lakh simply from second column we are required to deduct amounts of first column if we get positive figure there is increase if we get negative figure it's a decrease 3 lakhs minus 2 lakhs increase gross profit both the year it is same no change salaries both the year it is same no change office rent 15000 minus 10000 there is increase of 5000 
टोटल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एक्सपेंसेस थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड माइनस थर्टी थाउजेंड इंक्रीज बाय फाइव थाउजेंड एडवर्टाइजमेंट ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड माइनस थर्टी थाउजेंड दैट इज देर इज डिक्रीज ऑफ एटीन थाउजेंड ट्रैवलिंग एक्सपेंसेस थर्टी थाउजेंड माइनस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड दैट इज डिक्रीज ट्रैवलिंग एक्सपेंसेस थर्टी थाउजेंड माइनस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो दैर इज इंक्रीज बाय फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टोटल सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सपेंसेस फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड माइनस फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड देर इज डिक्रीज बाय थ्री थाउजेंड टोटल ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसेस सेवेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इंक्रीज बाय टू थाउजेंड ऑपरेटिंग नेट प्रॉफिट ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड डिक्रीज ऑफ टू थाउजेंड इंटरेस्ट रिसीव ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड माइनस टेन थाउजेंड so there is increase of 10000 net profit before tax 43000 minus 35000 increase of 8000 provision for tax 10000 minus 5000 increase by 5000 net profit after tax 33000 minus 30000 increase by 3000 now we are required to calculate increase or decrease in percentage form so in case of sales on 3 lakhs there is rise of 1 lakh on 3 lakh there is rise of 1 lakh so on 100 it will be how much so formula can be column number 3 divided by column number 1 multiplied by 100 so it is 33.33 percent in case of cost of sales column number 3 1 lakh column number 1 2 lakhs 1 lakh divided by 2 lakhs multiplied by 100 it is 50 percent in case of gross profit there is no increase or decrease so we will not have anything over here salaries no increase no decrease office rent column number 3 5000 divided by column number 1 10000 multiplied by 100 it is 50% total administration and office expenses column number 3 5000 divided by column number 1 30000 multiplied by 100 16.67% similarly advertisement expense 60% traveling expenses 15000 divided by 15000 multiplied by 100 100% total selling and distribution expenses 3000 divided by 45000 multiplied by 100 6. 67% total operating expenses 2000 divided by 75000 multiplied by 100 2.67% operating net profit 2000 divided by 25000 multiplied by 100 8% interest received 10000 divided by 10000 multiplied by 100 Hundred percent net profit before tax eight thousand divided by thirty five thousand multiplied by hundred twenty two point eight six percent provision for tax hundred percent net profit after tax ten percent thus with given profit and loss account we have prepared. vertical income statement and also we have prepared vertical comparative income statement here in this case we are required to remember how to calculate the percentage values that is the only important part in this question thanks for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe to our channel ikida thank you